when you are sick, they, they quarantine you. Na uh, alam may sakit ka, you will put in a certain place. If, if you read that in the Old Testament, you will see that quarantine actually started in the Bible no time no one's life lines. That's why during the Black Death in Europe, only the Jews, a lot of them survived because of that. So brothers and sisters, what, what I was showing here, brothers and sisters, is that what God has given us actually benefit those people. It is just it is not just a, re, a religious ritual, but it actually helps people. God has a purpose for it. And so many other things, even sexual purity. If this were followed, a lot of people would save their themselves from from so many sickness. If this were followed. So and last and another one, brothers and sisters, is uh, is regarding prophecy. One more example. Uh, last example. You know that the Bible is the only book that can tell what's going to happen in the future. And when when the Lord Jesus Christ was born, a lot of those a lot of those prophecy were fulfilled. A lot, most of them were already fulfilled. And I'll just give you one example, brothers and sisters. One, this one, very, one example is a very phenomenal prophecy. Example of it. There's, there's so many prophecies in the Bible, but this one is one example. In the book of Daniel, in chapter 9, verse 24, 27, you will see here, the prediction of the year that the Christ appearance in the beginning of his ministry in the book of Daniel so this book was written so many hundred years bago pa ipangalak Jesus but this prophecy was fulfilled another remarkable prophecy brothers and sisters is in the time of Daniel when he was under King Nebuchadnezzar. So in, in this prophecy, the, the king had a dream. And now, nobody can interpret the dream. Walang maka, walang maka, ano, walang maka sagot. So, tinawag nila lahat ng mga magician to, to interpret. But nobody can can answer. And so they call they call Daniel. They call Daniel. Okay lang. Is it too long or it's okay? So this one last uh, pro prophecy. Now Daniel is a man of God. He's the only person who answered the king. He did not know the he did not the the king did not tell him the the dream. Sabi ng king sa kanya, you tell me what my dream is and what it means. So sabi niya, king, I saw you that there's a big statue, and the head was made of gold, and the chest were made of silver. The chest is made, made, made of silver. It was, it was an awesome image. His belly and thighs are made of bronze, and his legs of iron, and his feet were partly iron and partly clay. And Daniel said, 
that this Babylonian firm was represented by the head of gold. So the king Nebuchadnezzar is represented by the head of gold. If you read history books, brothers and sisters, you will see how this prophecy actually happened. Na nangyari. Kung babasahin natin yung uh, history book, this is actually happened. So what happened is, it pro Daniel, this interpretation provided an astounding preview of history. Nebuchadnezzar's dream occurred and was interpreted by Daniel about 600 BC. The image represented a symbolic form and sequence of great empire that would dominate the Middle East for centuries. The Silver Empire was to be the Med of Persia, which began under Cyrus the Great, who conquered Babylon in 539. This Silver Empire was supreme in the Near and Middle East for about two centuries. The Bronze Empire was the Greco-Macedonian Empire established by Alexander the Great. The Bronze Kingdom lasted for about 200 or 300 years before it was supplanted by the Fourth Kingdom. The Iron collapsed toughness and bloodlessness and discouraged the Roman Empire that reached its widest extent under the reign of Trajan. And the Roman Empire ruled for centuries. So, you prophecy na yun, if you read this to the book, it happened. So these brothers and sisters only confirms how history and the word of God is in harmony. Amen. 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 So what does this do for us? Brothers and sisters, now that we know about this, this only reinforces what you already believe that you know that the Bible is true. Amen? Amen. And now to us, we have, uh, we made the choice. We, we choose to believe. But for those who have not believed, they are given the choice. But with this information, brothers and sisters, If they choose to believe, they are in the right path. Because as we, as we already, as we have learned from this short message, brothers and sisters, that what happened in the past and what has been discovered does not contradict what the Bible had already said. Amen. 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 So that's good news for us, brothers and sisters. In spite of the mountains of evidence that can be amassed in favor of the truthfulness of the Bible, having believing faith comes to developing a personal relationship with God. Amen? Amen. Kahit na alam malaman mo itong mga bagay na ito, the most important thing is to have a personal relationship with God. People can doubt and disbelief. And even in the time of Jesus, there are a lot of people who encountered, who encountered disbelief. And they stumble at times. That's why in Mark 9.24, one man said, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Needed a man who struggled with his faith. But brothers and sisters, that now that we hear about this, I hope this will reinforce our being in the Lord, in God. Amen? Amen. One way of seeking God is through careful study of the Bible. It is no accident that the Bible came down to us so many centuries with such accuracy and power. God intended us to live 
our lives with this book. And many people have dedicated themselves to the preservation of this, of this book. We are so blessed because today, brothers and sisters, we can have the Bible anywhere we want. We can have the hard copy. We can have the apps. We can search the internet and we can find the Bible. To know is not enough, but to have a personal relationship with the Lord is, is more important. Amen? Because as the Bible said, even the, even the demons believe that there is God and they tremble. So what we need, brothers and sisters, is to have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Because as the Bible said, for God so loved the world that He sent His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him will not perish but have eternal life. These things that we learn today can benefit us in our life here. But what is most important is our life, our soul, what will happen to it when we, when we, we come to God. And we, when, when we come to, to the throne of grace. Amen? Amen? So I hope, brothers and sisters, that this help you, strengthen your belief in the Bible, that it is true, that a lot of them that was refuted by a lot was just confused and being refuted was confirmed to be true. So I hope this helped all of us. Amen? Amen? Let us pray. Lord, thank you once again for telling us about these things, O oh Lord, this revelation that you have given to us, O oh Lord. Right now, there's so many things in this world that is happening, so many knowledge that our, our brain could not even take time to, to understand, O oh Lord. But because of these things that we have learned today, Lord, it only strengthens our, our resolve in our faith that you are true. And the Bible that is with us today is your word. May you strengthen us, O oh Lord, encourage us, and may you continue to guide us in our journey, O oh Lord. We know that the, there are a lot of influences in the world, from the world, and even as the Bible said, from, from spiritual forces. But we remain in you, O oh Lord. We believe you. And may you continue to guide us, strengthen us, O oh Lord, in our faith. And thank you, Lord, for this message that you have given. This we pray in Jesus. Amen.